Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. I'm just, uh, oh god, the sun's out here isn't it? I'm going to stand my way for a game of snooker now. Huh? Would have been out for a pint with Den on his birthday but he's under the form. He's going out for a bit of tea with his missus. But what can you do? We all get to that stage in life, don't we, where we get under the form. <laughs> I'm only joking, he's on his jollies tomorrow, isn't he? For a month. Uh, so I'm on my way for a game of snooker now at Rotherham. I'm going to practice going from yellow, green, brown, blue, pink, black. Then I'm going to go home, look at these videos, and look to get them sent to Nicola. And get them out there. I mean, that's about 20 videos that are going out all at once. You're all going to be spoiled in the next seven days from the channel. But it's all positive, good stuff, in it? It's all good, positive stuff. So, all these people here going to work or finishing work, they're all looking a bit long in the boat. Unbelievable. That's why you should all try and get good at something that you enjoy. And... It's not like going to work then is it? That's why, should, that's why you should always do something you like. For example, Steffi Bullsley is going on about retiring in boxing. He's not retiring. He's not going to retire. Not retiring, not going nowhere. But touching on what Dennis has just spoke about there, Josh Whale against Gav McDonald unfinished business. You know, good money. Good money. Gav will be on good money. So why not? It's a good fight, that. But, you know, instead of Gav McDonald going from a world title fight to fighting Jamie Spade, a guy with a, a, a bad losing record. What's all that about? Hey? Shit. Unbelievable, isn't it? That's a bad fight, that. All that is is just a win on his record and you're waiting for a phone call from Eddie Hearn. That's no good. Gav McDonald deserves better than that. And I don't think Steffi can manoeuvre Gav McDonald unless he gets a dog bone thrown him off Eddie Hearn. But if rumours do it rounds that Gav McDonald's been let go by Caldwell because he's maybe on slide, maybe, maybe that's why he's not getting any slots off Hearn. I don't know, but good fighter Gavin, very disciplined. I think Josh Whale beats him in the third one. Beats him comfortably. My opinion. I'm a Gav McDonald fan. I'm a, I'm, I'm a Jamie McDonald fan. As regards boxing. Massive, massive talent. But it is what it is, isn't it? So... Looking forward to turning arm over today. Gav McDonald, pick up the phone, don't be sending Den text messages, wanting to fight, wanting to beat nine stoners up, and then go in silence, fight there for you with Josh Whale, pick up the phone, pick up the phone Gavin, you know, you, once this video goes out, People are going to know that Gav McDonald didn't want to fight Josh Whale. An headline on TV. You've got a chance to headline on TV and there's a question mark about your win and that draw with Josh last time. When a real boxing fighting man, I want to put that right. Josh Whale wants to put it right. He wants to fight Gav McDonald. But if, if not, there's plans for Josh. There's all sorts of plans. Looking good for Josh and Tommy and Tyrone Nurse. 
Who's to say that Dennis won't be able to work some magic for Gav McDonald? But said he earns not been able to work it, has he, for a world title for him? This is what it is, isn't it? It's boxing, isn't it? It's only sport where we can all disagree. But like I said, that leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Somebody ringing up, that's uh, texting, sorry, saying they want to fight. You got anybody I can beat up? Well, you know who we've got. We've got Josh Whale, and you won't beat Josh Whale up. He'll beat you up, Gav. He's tenacious, Josh, man. Honestly, he's got a bit between his teeth. And he's not going to make a weight where he's losing out on reach and height and where he's struggling at the weight. So. You're going to see it best of Josh Whale in the next 10 fights. He's got 10 fights left in him, Josh Whale. 10 fights. And he's strong at featherweight. Very strong and powerful. Very powerful. He's stopping kids that don't get stopped. Steffi, stopping kids that don't get stopped. Like that Echo Wilson. I don't think he'd been stopped, had he? Not sure, but... Or he might have done, but good fighter, massive puncher. Josh just took him out, mate. Took him out. Put him to kit. He put him to kit. No messing about. Put him to kit. I'm not saying Josh puts Gav, Gav McDonald to kit. Early doors in round one, but I genuinely, genuinely believe that Josh Whale. And I'm going to go on record saying this. I genuinely believe Josh Whale stops, stops Gav McDonald round 9 or 10. Stops him. He'll set a pace that Gav won't be able to keep up with. And he stops him. That's my opinion. And I'm entitled to it. It's my fucking channel. Return of the pig. It's return of Porky. We're back. Trying to race me, mate. <laughs> trying to race me. But bubble gum. I love bubble gum. Do you remember them bubble gums we used to have as kids? Ubba bubba. Do you remember them? All right, them jawbreakers. Ah! That's probably why my teeth fell out. I'm trying to race me in an A6 Audi. I've got a chance, mate. You know why? I'm. I'll blow you away. Uh, somebody sent a question in, I didn't read it out. How come you've not had Stig on the channel? Stig's been annoying me lately, aren't you, Stig? I don't want to go up. What I don't like, right, is to get up in the morning and see 40 tweets that I'm tagged into. I said, Stig, why are you putting me in these tweets? I don't want to be in them. Oh, just, I've only got love for you, Porky. And I genuinely think Stig has, because he's big hearted, but I don't want to see myself tweeted into bullshit bullshit where you're coming out with stuff like you and your mates saying that Tyson Fury is a better fighter than Ali Muhammad Ali beat 16 world champions you know what I mean 16 world champions and you know the, the fights that you lost were all against guys who won world titles so Ali is you know, he, he's he's the dog's nuts. Tyson Fury has beat Steve Cunningham and Vladimir. Steve Cunningham were blown up cruiserweight, former champion at cruiser, and Vladimir were in his 40th year. And he only fought one more time, and that was 18 months later. So Vladimir were at the end of his career. If Vladimir had 69 fights, and he fought Tyson and he's 68, that means he's at the end of his career, doesn't he? Well, it does, doesn't it? If Tyson fought him in his 24th fight, what does that mean? Or 25th fight, what does that mean? It means he got him when, he got him when time was right, didn't it? He? he got him at his peak. So it was great timing for Tyson, and it was bad timing for Vladimir, but it was a great win, and I give Tyson respect, but it weren't, it didn't knock him out, did he? He just took him to school. <laughs> But a great win for Tyson, that. But we can't keep dining out on the Tyson Fury win over Vladimir. Like, Tyson Fury's fans are dining out on that. Because what happens is you get to meet Tyson in real life and then you feel that you need to scream about that win for the rest of your life because you've met him. Boxing don't work like that. Boxing moves on. 
since Tyson beat Vladimir Klitschko, all his belts went missing, didn't they, after that fight? Joshua ended up with them all, and now Andy Ruiz has got them all. And in between all that, he's fought Wilder and had a draw. Boxing moves on. Tyson doesn't have a belt. He has not got a belt. But he's got one world title win. So he's got to be given respect. But Jamie McDonald's got ten world title wins, hasn't he? Is it ten? Something like that. So what does that mean? He's ten times the fighter Tyson Fury is. No, it doesn't mean that. I'm just stating a fact. Tyson's got one world title win. Buster Douglas has got one world title win. Will Tyson Fury be like Buster Douglas? Will he go down in history like Buster? Of a man who won all the belts but didn't win another world title. Well, so far, four years later, it doesn't look like Tyson's going to be fighting for a world title. Not this year. So he's going to go into his fifth year. When we get by, when we get into December, when we get into December, in four and a half months, that will be Tyson entering year five of not having a world title. Year five. And of only having one world title win. One, as in just below two and one above none. None, one and two. Tyson's in between. One world title win. What a great win. Is Tyson Fury the best heavyweight at the moment in the world? Yes. All you Tyson Fury fans, I agree with you. Tyson Fury is the number one heavyweight in the world. Ring magazines say that. He hasn't got the ring belt, but he is the number one heavyweight in world boxing. Alright? Now that's good. So the number one heavyweight in the world, why don't he fight the number two guy? That's Wilder and rematch him. We're talking Pula. We're talking Miller. We've just had Tom Swartz. Why not fight Dillian White? I mean, this is how I look at it at the moment. You've got Tyson Fury number one. Wilder should really be joint with Wilder, but, you know, I, I did give Tyson the fight, just squeezed him it just by a round, but I can see where the draws come from. So you say Tyson Fury on paper, well, not on paper because it's done as a draw. But you go with your instinct that if Wilder don't catch him, he wins. But if Wilder catches him, does Fury get up? Well, he did do, didn't he? So maybe Wilder might be frightened of him. But we're going to say, at this moment in time, Tyson Fury is the number one heavyweight in the world. Deontay Wilder is the number two heavyweight. But the number one heavyweight doesn't have a belt. And he's drew with a guy who've got a number two, and he's got a belt, and he's had loads of defences. So it's all a bit crazy. But Fury one, Wilder two. You'd have to put Andy Ruiz at three. You'd put Joshua at number four, Ortiz five, and Dillian White six. Ortiz is going to be number five because he nearly beat Wilder. Well, he were winning rounds off Wilder, just like Fury were. But the difference were, Fury's chin were better than, White, than Ortez's. So you'd have Ortez above Dillian White, because Dillian White's had chances to fight Ortez. He's had chances to rematch Joshua, and he's never done it. So you'd have Tyson 1, Wilder 2, Ruiz 3, Joshua number 4. Then you'd have Ortez number 5, and he's 40 year old. Then, you'd have Dillian White number 6. You'd have Parker at number seven, Kaunaki, Kauna, Kauzaki is it, number eight. You'd have Joe Joyce, number nine. Then you'd have Dave Allen at number ten, wouldn't you? Or Yui Fury. Probably Yui Fury at number ten. Yui Fury is a top ten world ranked guy. I know he's 19 on box rank. But you'd have Yui, because Yui, in my opinion, beat Parker. If, if we're going to go on the fact that well, he should have got the decision and blah de blah Well, Tyson's number one, isn't he? So, Yui should have got the nod over Parker. And Parker beat Ruiz and Ruiz beat Joshua. So, Yui, does Yui get in through that linkage or lineage or whatever they call it? It's all a load of knackers. But Yui's a top ten ranked guy in the world. If Tyson's number one, Yui's in the top ten. And we all them other ones. If Dave Allen, Dave Allen might be top 15 then, but Dave Allen is in the mix. 
like him or lump him, he's in the mix. And I'm not just saying that because he lives from where I live. He's on a run, isn't he? Do you know what I mean? I want to see Dave Allen fight Joyce, Gorman, Yui Fury, guys like that. That's what I want to see, but it is what it is, isn't it? Peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. Hey, up, Nick, let me just take camera off, Nick. Alright, peace out, keep on trucking. Boom. We'll do another video tomorrow.